Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here. We're going to take a look at the Jackery Explorer 3000 Pro. It's a brand new power station that just came out. Alright, let's take a look and see what we got. Alright, let's go through the pictures here. I do like the handle. I think that's nice. Uh, and the wheels on the back, that way, you know, these things can get heavy. This is probably, uh, probably about 60 pounds, so that's nice to be able to roll that around. And then the handle kind of telescopes back into the, in, into the body there. It looks like big rubber feet, so it doesn't slip. Nice design. It's clean. I like the recessed handles. That way they're inside and they don't stick out. I wasn't a fan of Jackery's original ones. Remember the, the old handles used to stick out the top? I didn't like that because you can't put anything on top of it. You know, I, I don't use that wireless charging, but uh, I, uh, like the older systems that had those handles, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't stack it. Like it would be nice to have two of these and stack them, you know, uh, one on top of another. I don't know if you can hook them together. I don't think so, but we'll see. So, so far, I do like the wheels. I do like the anti-grip big pads on the bottom. I like that. Um, oh, there's the teardown, guys. Okay, so here's your cells right here. So, you got, it looks like you got two, two racks of cells here. Uh, dual fans. Here's your power board. Um, big cooling fans. I like that. I like the big air vents. Um... Oh, and then two more fans here. So you got two fans here and two, looks like two fans here. And then the big vents. I do like getting the air in there, but you got to be careful with um, with dust. And like like if you weren't use it in a workshop, you know, you got that, that wood dust or the metal dust flying around. You got to watch out for that, guys. That sticks to these boards and shorts them out. Um, all right, let's see. I think that's all the pictures. All right, that's all the pictures. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, right off the bat, it's 2800 bucks. All right, for 3000 so you're looking at approximately, let's see, uh, 2,800 bucks divided by 3,000 watt hours. So you're looking at about 93 cents a watt hour. Okay, let's uh, let's look a little bit deeper here. Um, let's see what we got here. We got uh, large capacity, 3,024 watt hours. I can power up to 99 percent of indoor appliances. Okay. Uh, Ultra fast design charging, blah, 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 blah. okay. Solar panel. What what do we got here? All right, let's see. Yeah, they got a little bit of a thing here. I I do like the look though. It it, it kind of has a kind of like a I don't know, like a Halloween look to it. It looks it looks like orange and uh, I I think it's red, but I, I, it looks orange and black. All right, solar panels, okay, blah, 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 power. Uh, as far as the screen, this, the screen looked very simple. I, I, I do like that about it. It's a very uh, simplistic screen. It's a very good for starter, uh, you know, people that, uh, you know, just get into the, the systems. The Jackery processor, the air cooling vents. There's your battery tray, guys. Okay, so yeah, d dual battery trays here. 3,000 and... 24 watt hours, okay. Power your whole life, huh? Okay. All right, let's keep going down here. All right, what do we got here? We got 3,000 watt inverter, uh, 3,024 watt hours, ultra fast charging uh, in three or four hours. Th that's that's not bad, guys. That's uh, that probably means you can bring in about 12, maybe 12 to 1400 watts of solar. We'll have to see or AC, or actually wall charging 2.4 wall. Okay. Yeah, so that's anywhere between 12 and 1500 watts. We have to wait and see. I can't get wait. I can't wait to get down to the specs. That that's where the money is. This I like a lot. This 30 decibel noise level for charging. I like that. That's very quiet. That's that's a, a good feature for these things. You know, some of those things have those those uh, charging bricks, and they're really loud and obnoxious. So I I always like you know put my power stations in other rooms or off to the side, and that way you know you don't you don't hear it so much. All right. Um, Resilient in cold temperatures up to negative four degrees, but there's an asterisk here. Um, it doesn't say what that is. I, I always I always am questionable about these things because you never know what it is. I do like the smart app. The smart app is very nice. Um, to, to give you uh, an idea of how I would use it, uh, like say you were sleeping in in an RV and you're camping somewhere, and say it's chilly and you want to you know turn on your your jackery and that's hooked to like a uh, a heater or something like that or your coffee pot and you can literally just you know pick up your phone turn on your your coffee pot and your heater right away and then boom it's nice and warm by the time you get out of bed that's the, I, I like that and i like this suitcase design 
like I said, these things can get heavy. This is, pro I'm guessing, probably about 60 pounds for this. But uh, maybe, f yeah, about 55, 60 pounds, but we'll see. Um, let's see here. There's the family camping. Ooh. These kids look terrified. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good picture. Okay. Yeah, these kids look terrified. Emergencies. It looks like a scary movie. Holy cow. That, that picture kind of caught me off guard, guys. Sorry. Okay. Uh, there's all your ratings. These are obviously questionable because it depends on, uh, you know, like uh, my microwave is only 700 watts, so obviously it'd be longer. So the, these are just uh, kind of a recommendation, kind of um, a, a guesstimate, I like to call them. Uh, okay, so here it is. Resistant and cold temperatures. I'm, I'm assuming that's the asterisk here. Um, when performing at temperatures between negative 10 and negative 20 Celsius, the output power explorer will pro auto adjust according to its remaining battery level. So I, I think that's the smart the smart battery feature thing that this has. Um, at 60 to 100 percent battery, it'll adjust to 3,000 watt output power. With 30 to 60 percent, minute, it'll adjust to 2,000. Okay, so I oh, th yeah, this is kind of strange. Um, it's, it's different. So as you use this machine, guys, um, when you get down to about, what does it say, s under 60%, it'll adjust it and only allow 2,000 watts out. And when the battery level is below 30, that output will adjust to 800. I don't know if I like that or I don't know if I don't like that. I, I think that's a battery saving mode. I don't know. Hopefully you can turn that off, you know. Because, like, you know, what if you're, um, you know, uh, running something heavy and all of a sudden it kicks down? You know what I mean? So I, I, I got questions with that one. Uh, okay, three simple ways to charge here. You got uh, solar charging, wall charging, car charging. That's simple. I, I don't see generator charging, but I'm assuming that, you know, as long as the generator has a, a pure sine wave inverter or even possibly a, a modified one, I'm assuming, assuming that you could charge it through there, too. Um, car charge at 35 hours. Yeah, that's a long time. 3,000 watt hours on a 12 volt battery is a long time. All right, uh, let's keep going here. It's always fun to look at this new technology, guys, because I, I I like the 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 new ideas. I like that. I mean, th this this little handle, this telescoping handle, is um, it it's a very old uh, uh, technology for you know heavy stuff. But I, I like that dolly. That way you don't have to spend money on an extra dolly. An extra dolly can be like 100, 150 bucks. So if it's built in the machine, I always had speakers like that with the, you know, the wheels when you tilt them back. You know, when you have tower speakers and they're bigger than I am, it's nice to be able to literally tilt it back and roll it across the ground. That saves your back a ton because, you know, speakers back in the days used to be two, three, four, five hundred pounds. You know, all depending on what size you had. All right, let's see. There's your... There's your Borg. <laughs> There's your Star Trek Borg. That's your processor chip here. Quiet Canyon cooling system. Okay. I do like the big vents. I do like that. However, if you use this in a workshop environment, guys, these big vents get you in trouble. You know, so you got to watch out for that. Um, let's see. Ultimate. So, so, you know, something that works really well. Uh, a lot of people have, have never thought about it. Um, if, you're, if you have to use this in, in an emergency, um, what you could do and obviously you watch the machine for heat but uh, you take a dryer sheet and you put it over the vent that's sucking in and what that does is it filters the air going in it takes the particles out of the air not uh, you know some really small ones but you know it, it keeps like leaves grass you know chunks of stuff in the air it kind of keeps them out so that that's like an emergency thing you know if, if you have to do that otherwise you want to watch your your heat and make sure you don't build up too much heat in there uh, I do like it. Hopefully the, uh, I, I like the handle, but I, hopefully that, that folds out all the way. Yeah, okay, so it disappears. Yeah, that I like a lot. I like that a lot. Um, if that ever broke, I wonder how you would replace that. Hopefully there's just a, um, uh, a piece that you could just, you know, buy because th these are heavy. So hopefully that's a heavy-duty handle. Um, like I said, I, I guess, oh, here's your weight. So I was, I was right. It's about 64 pounds, guys. So you got 3,024 watt-hours at 60, 64 pounds. Um, if those were any heavier, that would, you know, e even at 64 pounds, that, that's a lot of weight for, you know, the average person to carry. Um, you know, if you're a, a, a big bulky young man, you can throw that around like a, like a hot potato. But, you know, when, when, when you, when you get older, that, that 64 pounds is, that's tough on your knees and your back, you know, especially lifting it up from the ground. That's like a deadlift. That's, that's, uh, that's a lot of weight for some people. 
Uh, quick setup in just one minute. Uh, they're referring to the solar panels. Here's the app here. Control your power station using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I like that. I, I, I like the, uh, the option that you have both. Um, now, remember the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, if they're both on at the same time, that's two different dongles that are in there, two different adapters. So uh, that would burn up more energy, just so you know. Um, it's kind of like having the radio and the heater on, you know, that burns up twice the energy because you have two things on. So hopefully you can either select the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth and not both at the same time or you have the option to turn these off some people like a very simple power box that's what I like I just want to turn the machine on use it and turn it off um, I, I do like apps in certain situations like I said in the morning but uh, for the most part I like it uh, just straight just a battery five-year warranty now this this I like I like that um, it says our superb three plus two year warranty gives you peace of mind what is a three plus two years is it five or three plus well, that's, I mean, it's five, but why is it plus two? Maybe if you register it? Okay, yeah, I got to look into that, too. Here's a fella playing a record on a surfing kayak board in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that could be fun. All right, now here, now this is what I like, guys. This is the whole, um, the, the whole shebang here is the, the specs. I'm all about the specs. Okay, so let's see what we got. We have... Um, Number one is your main power, so that's your main power here. Number two is the car port. I assume that that flips open and there's a car port in there. Um, number three is the USB A's, and we'll see what these are exactly as soon as we get down to the, the specs. This is just the pictures. Uh, number five is the DC output button, so that turns on this section here. Um, this is the AC output button that turns on these four uh, AC uh, outlets here, the receptacles. Uh, seven is the AC outputs. You got four of them. And eight is the AC button. Oh, wait, I missed something here. Oh, I okay, so, sorry. S six is the AC output here. That's kind of like an RV port kind of thing, or a 220 thing. I don't know if it has 220, though. But, uh, yeah, I missed one in there, okay. It, th these numbers are always confusing sometimes. All right, now, here you go. Now, this is the most important thing. All right, so you got a 43.2-volt battery inside there. Is that, uh, oh, it's lithium-ion. Oh, man, I can't believe that's not uh, lithium-iron phosphate. Wow. 2,000 cycles to 70%. 70%. This is normally 80%, guys. So 2,000 cycles at 70% is probably... I'm going to guess maybe 1,000 to 1,300 to 80%. This is, this is different, I, 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 I've never seen that before. Um, here's your ports, four AC outlets, uh, 120 volts. I do like that, 60 hertz at 20 amp max. Okay, I like that, I like the 120. A lot of power stations, they give you the 110 out. Uh, 120 is just a better voltage for like crock pots, um, electronics, they like it better, you know, uh, uh, expensive electronics, um, laptops, Pretty much don't care if they have a, a power brick box because that converts it. It's like a double conversion. Uh, let's see, you got two USB C's output at 100 watt max. Now, is that 100 watts divided between these two or is it 100 watts each? I'm going to assume it's 100 watts um, each, but it doesn't say that. Uh, AC input is 120, 60 hertz, 15 watt max. Okay. So if you do the calculation, you got that times, uh, what is it, 15 amps. So that's technically on the paper, it's 1,800 watts in. That's great, guys, if, if you look at the paper here. Um, yeah, 1,800 watt charging is pretty good. I, I don't know if it actually gets that, but we'll have to see. Uh, one AC output at 20 volts, 60 hertz, 25 amp. Okay, so it's 120 volt. You know that circle one that you guys saw up here? This one, that's 120 volt at 25 watt amp max. So basically, it's almost like a 220 here. Let's so you got 120 times the 25 it says 3,000, uh, but 25 um, 25 amps max. Okay, you got two USB A's output, quick charge, 3.0, 18 watts. Um, Let's see. Oh, you, you know what? Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so you, the USB-Cs do have the 20 volt at 5 amps. That, that, that's the newest protocol right there. That's the uh, 
the, the, the fastest charging for the USB-C's right now that I know of. Uh, DC input, you got two DC 8mm ports. I'm not a fan of 8mm ports. I'm, I'm not a, a fan of barrel imports. Um, and the reason why is I like either MC4, I like um, Anderson Power Pole, I like XT60 because they're more universal, guys. You have to run around and try to find these ports. Um, let's see, 11 to 17 point five volts working voltage is is that the that's the that's the solar charge eleven to seventeen point five maybe that's the charging bricks but it says DC and I have to we have to oh here it is okay so, uh, so 17.5 to 60 volt okay so you can go up to 60 volts for solar panels and then 11 to 17 point five which is the the eight millimeter ports so they obviously have dual imports, which we can't really see. They don't have decent pictures here. Uh, 6,000 watt surge peak. The car port is 12 volts at 10 amp max. Uh, here's your recharge time. AC is 2.4 hours. It's a little vague on the on the charging like max input. Um, four Solar Saga 200 watt panels is five to six hours. So that's uh, 800 watt theory. Uh, 12 volt car adapters 35 hours yeah th th this guys th th this usually isn't even an option this is like an emergency thing or you know if you're traveling across the country plug it in you know you might as well have your alternator do something you know especially during the day when it's just sitting there basically doing nothing um, you got uh, two solar panels at 200 watts 9 to 10 hours uh, you could put six of them uh, for three to four hours that's 1200 watts of solar panels um, and if you have one solar panel, like everything is kind of like, <laughs> like one should be here, two should be here, four should be here, and then six should be here. Uh, so 18 to 19 hours. Obviously, that's, now you get about five hours, five, it's, it's called a solar day, guys. Uh, you get about five hours a day where you get really good sun. And uh, so you have to take that five hours and divide it by about 19. So we'll round it to 20. That'll take approximately four days to charge this box if you had one panel just to give you an idea uh, your weight is about 64 pounds 24 kilograms for those across the pond um, dimensions so you got 18 by 14 by 15 ish uh, that, that's a nice small little box it's heavy though 64 pounds is heavy um, I, I do like the the uh, the wheels built in and then the warranty is three plus two years I'm assuming and this is just an assumption because it doesn't say I wish it would say on, on the website here uh, it says three plus two I'm assuming that the three years is like right off the bat and then if maybe if you register it you get another two years or three years on the whole product and then plus two years on the product pieces or you, you know I always with warranties guys you want to read them you want to fully read a warranty otherwise they're just pieces of paper to me um, here's what you get in the box. You get the Jackery Explorer 3000 Pro. You get the car charging cable. You get the AC charging cable. Those are bright cables, guys. You ain't going to lose those in the grass. Uh, and then you have a DC 7909 to a DC 8020 adapter times two. Not a fan of the proprietary plugs. Uh, this looks normal. Um, this looks like a like a, a DC computer plug, and this looks like a standard 120 outlet or 110. Um, that's a standard cigarette lighter, but that's that barrel. I'm not a fan of proprietary um, plugs, guys, because then you got to goof around and buy all one company's products. I do like putting miscellaneous um, solar panels in uh, because you know I have so many. Uh, doing these reviews, you you really buy and like get a lot of stuff. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, here's a user manual. That's nice to have it right on the page. Um, uh, other companies like to sometimes uh, not not hide, but make it tough to find these owner's manuals, you know, these user manuals. And then that way, if they ever update them, you can always go and find the new one. And then hopefully they list the in the owner's manual the date that it was released. I think that's very important, very important. Um, let's see. Here's a fella fixing some skis here. What is Jackery? Uh, life expectancy. How long is the warranty? See, the, the, this I'd like to see. I'd like to see the warranty. Okay, so we provide a three-year warranty for the Explorer 3000 Pro with an option for an additional two-year extension if purchased. Okay, so here's, here's, your, here's your spiel. You get three-year warranties on the Jackery 3000 Pro, but then you have to purchase for an additional cost 
and you have to register it also uh, uh, for Jack Reed extended warranty. I don't know, it doesn't say how much it's going to cost, but uh, I got questions. I got questions, guys. Uh, the, 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 I, I, I don't like to dislike items at all. Um, I, I always like to talk, try, you know, try to stay on the positives. Um, but I have to talk about this and this. Uh, the lithium-ion battery, I, I'm not a fan of those anymore. I have them all in my DeWalt tools, so uh, I have them um, because I don't know if DeWalt makes lithium-iron phosphate batteries for their tools yet. And if and when they do, I'll be happy to upgrade. But I, I'm not a fan of lithium-ion. Now, a lot of people are afraid that they'll catch fire. That you know, that, that is true if, if they do get punctured. Uh, lithium-ion is extremely flammable. Um, you can see videos on the internet of this, um, like EVs use lithium ion and you know, like all you have to do is type in like uh, Tesla and fire in YouTube and you'll, you'll see a, a lot of oopsies. Um, I think that's because either people charge them too fast or their, you know, the battery is short out. I, I don't know. I, I'm just, you know, only um, saying what I've seen. Um, I have no opinion either way other than I, I, I for me, I, I'm not a fan of lithium ion anymore. Uh, if it's not uh, lithium iron phosphate, I, I personally, I, I don't buy anymore. Uh, 2,000 cycles is 70%. Th this I, I, I do not like. I, I do not like that. That's a, a marketing thing, I believe. Um, every other power station out there, um, it, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be mean to, to Jackery. Um, every other power station out there um, has it rated to 80 percent capacity so what i believe this is this seems like a numbers game to where you can put the charging cycles you know m make it seem really big on the box you, you know what i mean but then you're down to 70 percent and then it has that other thing hopefully i hope to <laughs> i hope to goodness that you could turn that off that that uh, energy power saving thing where it drops down to like 2000 and then 800 Th that i'm not a fan of it uh, at all uh if, if that's the the inverter downstepping, as, unless you can turn it off. If you can turn that off, then, then I'm okay with it. But this, I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, lithium uh, ion batteries, and I'm not a fan of this. I, I'm, I'm going to assume, and this is just an assumption, guys, because um, lithium ion usually gets about 650 to 1,000 cycles to 80%. So I, I'm going to assume that that's probably 1,000 plus cycles uh, at at best, maybe 1300, 1350, something like that. At at best, to 80 percent, because now for for the 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 it's 2800 dollars, you know, and um, like lithium iron phosphate is up to like in in certain situations up to like five six thousand cycles. Uh, mine is rated at 2500 cycles. Uh, for for mine, I have a few of them. I got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven power stations in this room, and uh, only one of them is lithium ion. One, one positive with lithium ion. That one positive is it's lighter. It it is lighter. So this would probably be about eighty to ninety pounds uh, as a system if it had three thousand watt hours of lithium iron phosphate. I personally, as, as opinion, I would take uh, lithium iron phosphate over lithium ion any day. I I don't care about the weight. I'll I'll. I'll figure out a way to move it around. I mean, it's on wheels already, right? So the only trouble you would have is lifting it into your car. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if 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 it was my choice, um, this this system, um, nothing against Jackery. Uh, I I th th this system would not work for me. I, I I do like its design. I do like the color scheme. I like the clean build. I like the you know, the, like these cases right here where the battery cells are stored, I like that. It's a hard case. It's not like a piece of, like I've opened some some batteries, guys, and, you know, they put like cardboard plastic with tape. You, you know what I mean? So th this 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 battery cell um, uh, casing, I, I, I like that a lot. I really do uh, because it just, it seems more safe. Um, like I said, I've opened some batteries, and I've watched people open batteries, and, you know, the, the, those darn things are like... Um, like plastic pieces of cardboard plastic and then they tape it you know what I mean so where if you just cut the tape and and now all your batteries uh, cells are exposed 
Um, I, I guess maybe that's good to replace them, but uh, I, I, I do like how they, they pack the batteries. I, I do like that. I like the wheels. I like the excess fans. I like the clean uh, look of the board inside. Everything is kind of organized. I like the space that's how it was used. I like the size. I love the handle. Uh, the handle goes all the way down to the axle where you have the tires. So I, I, I do like that. Hopefully that's screwed on the back. And that way, just in case, if, if maybe that bent one day or it maybe didn't work or something, you can replace that. Uh, otherwise, you'd have a handle that you couldn't use on it. But I, I like that. So the, there are things I like about this system, guys. Um, I, 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 I'm not a fan of the proprietary stuff, though, at all. I don't like the, the adapters. Because if you lose this adapter, guys, this is, look at this, this is $70 for another adapter. Like, holy cow. Uh, to me, I, I think that's a, a, a expensive. Um, so it, o overall, uh, this system would not work for me. I'm just being honest. It's just my opinion. Um, th this this <laughs> this picture caught me off guard, guys. It reminded me of like a scary movie. Uh, I, I don't mean to be mean to this lady here, but holy cow, these kids look terrified. <laughs> you know, so that kind of threw me off. Um, other other than that. Um, yeah, the, 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 this system, guys, I'll, I'll leave it at that. This system, uh, it, it, it's not for me. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Like I said, I don't want to put down any company. Uh, I talk about the technology, not, not the companies. Um, but, yeah, I, I, my, my, my biggest uh, dislikes is $2,800 for lithium iron phosphate. Uh, I'm sorry, for lithium iron. Uh, to me, it's, it feels high. Um, I don't like the price of the adapters. They're proprietary. If you lose that, you have to buy that. Um, I'm not a fan of that power saving thing. Uh, hopefully, if you could turn, as I always said, if you could turn that off, that, then I'm okay with that one. Um, as far as, what was a few of the other things? Uh, the, the, the warranty, they advertise the five years, but you have to buy the ex extended plan to get that. So they, you know, they, eh, I don't know, I'll leave it unsaid. Um, th this should say three years and then plus, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, other than that, guys, I, I, I can't really think of any, any negatives. I mean, it's a very simple, well put together box. Uh, the weight is very decent. Um, the, the warranty, um, eh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I like the three years. Um, like I said, a warranty is only as good as the paper it's written on. So you gotta, uh, like like these. I, I I'm not a fan of these adapters. You know, th these are fine, but I'm not a fan of these adapters. But I, I like the manual, guys. I, I think I'll leave it at that. Uh, I no, no disrespect to Jackery at all. Uh, this system, uh, it, it's probably a wonderful system. Uh, I'll just be honest, guys. It, it's not for me. I, I guess I'll leave it at that. Uh, it just seems like there's better. B better options out there for for what I need as a personal choice. All right, guys. Well, this is just my my for my first look at the Jackery Explorer 3000 Pro portable power station. Um, it's it's nice to see Jackery, you know, getting bigger and better. Um, there are just things that I wish that were different. Um, okay, thanks, guys. Uh, Rambling Bob, and this is just my opinion. All right, I'll talk to you guys again. Okay, bye. <laughs>